Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So, welcome to your readings for the month of November 2018. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to all of us here in the United States. Um, happy holidays. We are approaching the holiday season, guys. The year is almost over. Where the hell did the time go? I don't know. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, if you are interested in a private reading with me, I am available for those. Um, the readings that I offer are found in the description box below, along with my email. Just go ahead and read through those and uh, pick whichever one you'd like and let me know and we can move forward. If you cannot decide, feel free to email me and we'll chat a little bit about what you would like to achieve with the reading and I will help you pick out the best format to suit your needs. Yeah, If you are in the New York City area, I recommend that you come down and see me, honey, <laughs> every Monday at Om Shanti Bookshop from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The website for Om Shanti can be found in the description box. Uh, you can go to the website and find their number there. If you would like to book a reading in advance instead of just like showing up at that moment, you are more than welcome to do so. You can do that with me or any other reader that is available at the shop. Just give them a call, tell them when you would like to come in, at what time, and we will get you set up. Yeah? So, true to form, I am working with the Golden Universal Tarot. Ace of Wands. The Golden Universal Tarot uh, for the readings. And then I will be closing the reading with some guidance from the Unicorn Oracle. Yeah? All right, guys. So I, I guess that's it. So I guess we should just get to it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it, guys. Hello, Aries. Welcome to your reading for the month of November 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get straight to it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear cha channel for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for Aries for the month of November 2018. Aries. All right. Thank you so much, Spirit. So Aries, I'm seeing red for you. Um, of course, that's the color of fire. You know, it's also the color of the root chakra. But I really feel like... You guys are bound and determined towards something. I mean, that's no surprise. <laughs> Aries, what do we got going on for you? There are endeavors of the heart. I'm seeing green for the heart chakra. Um, there could be some heart chakra healing you're going through, a heart opening, expanding. Some of you are going after something you're really passionate about. Again, that is no surprise for an Aries. Uh, clarity with yellow, because um, I'm seeing yellow now, and willpower. I'm also getting Leo. You could be connecting with a Leo. Aries. You could also have Leo in your chart. All right, Aries, I'm going to give this one more shuffle, and then I'm going to cut the deck, and we're going to get into it. All right, Aries. Let's see what we've got here for you. Overall energy. You've got the Queen of Cups. This could be Cancer. Um, you could have Cancer in your chart. Me, personally, I have my, my in Eastern Astrology, my moon is in Cancer. Um, it could be another water sign, too. Pisces or Scorpio. Intuition. Intuitive. Someone is really in touch with their feelings or their emotions. Very aware of what they feel. And this person might be very intuitive too, like may, may be very in tune or in touch with the feelings and emotions of others around them. Very empathic. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Three of Swords. And we have the Ace, I'm sorry, not the Ace, the Eight of Pentacles here. All right, Aries, so it looks like you are dealing with some heartbreak or maybe you've been a heartbreaker. Um, but someone is taking their emotions and moving on with the Six of Swords. 
and they're moving towards calmer waters, which is great. Um, Aries, you might be, or this other person, whoever, someone might be really immersed in their work right now, kind of like maybe trying to drown out the sorrows with work. Um, but also, I really feel like, Aries, you're working hard towards something. It could be dealing with this heartbreak that you've experienced recently or someone else, whatever. Hard at work. To pick your heart back up off the floor. Okay. Good on you. Picking up your own pieces and setting sail, moving right along. And it's not too shabby, Aries. Let's see what's under what's what's going on here for you. First set of current energy so surrounding energies, excuse me, for the first half of the month. You've got the Queen of Wands. So you really could be dealing with a Leo, but also this could be you. Interesting. I just did the Pisces video. Um and the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Was it Pisces? Or was it Aquarius? Oh, shoot. I don't remember now. But the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands came out together. It might have been Aquarius. Anyway. This one is this is someone that's magnetic, sure of themselves, magical, mystical, charismatic, social, beautiful, fun to talk to, fun to be around. Queen of Wands is coupled with the Four of Wands. So Aries, I really feel like this is you, potentially. I even feel like the Queen of Cups is you too. Because the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands just feel like they go together right now. And I really feel like you or someone you're connecting with, Aries, um, is attracting stability, commitment, union towards them. Okay. Second set of current of surrounding energies, you have ooh the ten of swords. Yup, yup. Somebody's very done with the situation. I mean, I would hope so. You got the three of swords in the overall energy, so it's, there was heartbreak at some point, and you're now someone's moving away because they're done with the situation. The worst is over. That's a good thing. Sure was painful though. Ten of Swords is coupled with the Three of Cups. And yeah, I would say that is cause for celebration. <laughs> being done, finally being done with something. Like finally being done with something. The worst is over. And I literally just saw 555, five, five, just caught it on the counter. Okay, so there's some change happening, y'all. All right? The challenge for the first half of the month. You've got, ooh, the Queen of Pentacles now. Could potentially be um, connecting with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You've got three queens on the board so far. I think the challenge is to be compassionate and, nur compassionate and nurturing here in the face of some sort of heartbreak deception. The, 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 the challenge might be... Um, Re relighting resto or stoking the fire of compassion within you. Maybe that's gone out. Maybe that's dimmed a little bit. The Queen of Pentacles is coupled with the Three of Pentacles. Self-mastery. Teamwork. Ah, so the challenge really could be being compassionate towards the self and doing the work to rebuild yourself. It does. It feels a little challenging. Even though you have the Eight of Pentacles underneath the deck here, it still feels challenging because of whatever happened with the Three of Swords. I feel like the Three of Swords energy for you, Aries, or whoever, the Crosswatcher, whoever, was bad. Was, like, really shitty. Especially with this, and mainly because of this Ten of Swords here. Like this was a prolonged situation, and the and the reason and and the three of cups coming out with the ten of swords here, even though that seems weird, in this in context of this situation, it feels pretty damn good. That is definitely cause for celebration. 
Okay? I mean, you have a perfect opportunity to do so. We are in Thanksgiving month here in the United States. So, there's that. The potential outcome for the first half of your month, Aries, we've got... Ooh! Two of Cups. Reconciliation, I'm hearing. Also, um, connecting with a soulmate, a partner. I mean, you do have the Queen of Wands and the Four of Wands here. And I was saying, someone is attracting union towards them. Now, if you're a twin flame, you know the term union all too well. But this is a general reading, guys. Union is not just between twin flames, okay? There are all kinds of unions out there. Two of Cups is coupled with... Uh -huh! The Eight of Wands. Well, shit, look at that. That's a pretty fantastic energy. So you could be connecting with someone. You could meet somebody. I feel like some of you might meet somebody over like the holiday season, this Thanksgiving season. I know this is the first half of the month, but for some of you, you really could be connecting or you may have already connected with this person and now communication is starting to open up. Or you're, you, you meet someone and things start to move pretty quickly, fairly quickly between the two of you, okay? But my, that feels good. For the second half of your month, first set of surrounding energies, you've got the Seven of Wands. So there's some defensiveness here. There are some boundaries. You could be dealing with um, the opinions of others. I mean, we are in the seventh. We are in the second half of the month, so maybe you're dealing with family squabbles over in Thanksgiving dinner or something. I don't know. Seven of Wands is coupled with oh, the Seven of Cups. So there's some illusion. There's some confusion here. It could potentially be with this person that you're connecting with, with the Two of Cups. There, there could be some illusion surrounding the situation, which. Some illusion or some, confu some confusion which could make someone be on the defensive. Someone just could be on the defensive naturally because you have, you're have you connecting with someone new and things are kind of unsure. You don't really know each other too well. So that's why a guard could be up. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for the second half of the month, Aries. We've got... Ooh, 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 ooh the Knight of Cups. Someone might want to make an offer, an invitation, take you out on a date. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Knight of Cups is coupled with ooh, the King of Pentacles. Now, this could be an Earth sign. Uh, keep in mind here, I, want you, I do want to point out, guys, that we do have the counterparts. The Queen of Pentacles is in your challenge um, for the first half of the month. And the King of Pentacles, I'm sorry, not the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles is in the challenge for the first half of the month. And then the King of Pentacles is here trying to make an offer to someone. Or you could be trying to make an offer to a King of Pentacles, male or female. This is someone that is uh, embodying masculine King of Pentacles energy, okay? Um, and shit, I, I know I would, if I'm going to get an offer from any of the kings... I would love to get an offer from the King of Pentacles because you know that shit is solid. Okay? Now, the other thing I'm picking up with on the challenge of the first half of the month could be working together. Working with someone to build a foundation. In a relationship. Could be business, but it also could be romantic. All right? And this here, this offer or invitation that's coming through with the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Cups, I'm sorry, the Knight of Cups, wow, the Knight of Cups and the King of Pentacles, this could be an offer, a business offer. Like someone could be offering to a King of Pentacles, a businessman, business tycoon, whatever. An offer could be coming from a businessman. But it also could be relationship-wise. Someone that's very stable, very grounded, very much focused on... Wealth, sure, but stability also. I'm getting an energy of just someone that's very stable financially and world in worldly ways. Okay? The challenge for the second half of the month, we've got oh, the Ten of Cups. Good Lord! The Ten of Cups came out as the challenge for Pisces in the second half of the month. 
So if you have Pisces in your chart, I would watch that. That video. Ten of Cups is coupled with the Five of Pentacles. Interesting message here. Okay, so this where this might be where some of the illusion is coming in, Aries, because with the Ten of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, the challenge, I'm picking up that the challenge here is reaching this Ten of Cups, but feeling like you, you're you destitute, you're left out in the cold, you're rejected in some way. But what I'm really getting here is that's fairly illusionary, especially if you're just beginning a connection, like if the connection is new, okay? Yeah, it's illusionary, fairly illusionary, if not downright, straight up, bullshit illusion, <laughs> okay? Like, you got it all wrong, honey. It ain't even like that, okay? Your outcome, potential outcome, for the second half of the month, you got four of swords, okay? Rest. Uh, the four of swords is very much like the, ha the, the hanged man. In um, taking a break, taking a time out in order to see something differently. The Four of Swords doesn't always talk about enlightenment like the um, the hanged man does. Off, sometimes it can just be literally just taking a break from something, literally just type, taking a time out. Okay, taking a nap even, <laughs> right? The potential outcome is coupled with of the four of swords is coupled with the seven of pentacles. Okay, this is very good. This is a very good energy, especially if you're working on a connection with someone, um, and especially after coming out of whatever that three of swords bullshit was. There is. It looks like there's going to be a pause in the action, in order to take stock, in some way with the seven of pentacles. This also could say that there could be a pause and through that pause, there could be a really nice harvest coming through either through that, during that pause or maybe after it, okay? But I really, honestly, that the energy of this, the Four of Swords with the Seven of Pentacles, a pause being taken in order to just reassess, maybe even to see if like you're still on the same page. That just feels good to me, all right? Especially in relation to a brand new relationship, okay? Cool. So let's get into your oracle guidance from the unicorns, from my Aries, November 2018. Aries, November 2018. All right, Oracle Guidance, please. You, whoa, there we go. <laughs> wow, all right, underneath the deck is abundance. Enjoy the beauty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. And the card that came out is trust. Leap into the unknown, have faith and move forward. Believe and you will fly. Especially for some of you, or for some of us that are coming out of a really painful situation from the past, um, and you have someone that you're connecting with now, and you might feel really pretty apprehensive about it. The universe, especially in the if this, with this energy, if you're the one holding this seven of wands because of the seven of cups energy, this defensiveness, the guardedness, the boundaries because of a lack of clarity or because of confusion. You are really being asked to trust. The universe is really asking you to trust. And if you, especially with the Queen of Cups at the top of the reading, crowning the reading, I really feel like your intuition is quite on point here. So if you're feeling like a connection is happening and you feel really good about it, you feel like it really could be a pretty serious and a good thing, trust it. Okay? I'm not saying go into there all willy-nilly making yourself 100% completely vulnerable. But you don't have to be so guarded in this situation. All right? Okay, Aries. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. Much, much love to you. Happy Thanksgiving to all of us here in the United States. And 
I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of December. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!